expert by any means on this subject, but I am an expert on Audrey, which is sitting right back here with the little cat goes on. Um, so what I'm going to talk about is mine and Tammy's goals with um, parenting with Audrey and raising her, and how we got there. So at first, uh, we wanted to make someone who was emotionally sound. We wanted to raise her to be happy, to be content, and I think that's what everybody kind of wants when they grow up. So I think uh, that was really one of our first and major goals, was to make sure she was happy. Uh, aside from that, we wanted to make sure that she was confident. You know, being able to, while I am nervous, get up here and talk. Um, I wanted to make sure that she would be able to do this later in her life. Um, and you can see she's doing several things, even um, when she was two or three years old. Um, additionally, we wanted to make sure that she was included in everything that we did, so that she could learn a little bit more about what life is all about. And so we, you can see Tammy playing here. <laughs> with, you know, Audrey and Asleep. She helps us cook, she helps us do a lot of different things. Um, finally, you know, our, our final goal was really to make sure that she was caring, that she was giving, and that she was, you know, as she interacted with other people, she really showed that she cared about them and that she understood what it meant to love. So how do we do this? Um, what I'm going to talk about is some of the areas that we worked on with her and that we kind of learned about as we went along and kind of learned to be parents. It wasn't easy all the time. Um, children can be very stubborn. <laughs> so, um, the first thing was to be a realist. Having a child changes your life. Um, it's obviously something that's true. Um, whether it's one child or many children, it's going to make you a different person and you have to learn to be flexible and to not make them fit into your schedule. You have to fit, them, fit your schedule around them. The other thing is to make sure that you're demonstrating behavior that you want them to mimic. You want them to be positive people. Do you want them to clean up their room? Do you want them to keep things tidy? You want to do that in a low-stress way, so you mimic you mimic that behavior, and they're going to mimic you. We created a really strong connection with her by letting us uh, letting her sleep with us. Um, some people will you know, put their babies in a crib and get stressed out about making sure that their kids are sleeping at specific times or you know whatever the case may be. We didn't. We let her sleep with us. She went to bed with us. She woke up with us, and she was able to be near us. I already said you know. We included her in everything. Every trip we go on, she goes with us. Um, we sit down and read books with her. She cooks with us. She cleans with us. She makes sure the house is clean. She knows how life works. She knows how our house works. We try to be nurturing and to be as positive as possible. Uh, being parents, you do get frustrated. Um, you are going to have times where you get angry. I have apologized to Audrey a couple of times <laughs> for, for losing my temper. And that's just the way it is. You learn. Um, Tammy and I had to work as a team. Tammy did all of the work, uh, most of the work, <laughs> uh, probably 98% of the work. I was there to support her when Audrey was a baby to make sure she was eating healthy, to make sure that she was uh, not stressed out. And uh, you know, of course, I had time to spend with Audrey myself and keep her and things of that nature, but I was mostly there to support Tammy. Uh, providing a safe environment. You saw Audrey doing rock climbing, so our climbing on a balance beam. We, wanted, we want her to be adventurous. So the idea is to create the environment where she feels safe, where she can feel like she can explore. Uh, so how is she today? Uh, sitting back there, she, I don't know if she wants to come up. Come up? Yeah. So I think that she's uh, generally happy. I think that she, you know, she gets angry, she gets uh, sad, she gets grumpy, but for the most part, she's a very happy kid. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not right now. <laughs> to new people, she will walk up to somebody and just start a conversation. So she's acting a little shy now, but she's not usually shy. Um, she is a very connected person. She makes friends extremely easily. Um, when we moved in here, we had a few of Tammy's colleagues help us move in, and she immediately made friends with every child and every adult there. And she maintains those connections for a long time. She is very caring, very giving. Um, she made us an anniversary card. Her anniversary was just a Ago, and she walked in in the morning, woke us up, and handed us an anniversary card and said, Happy anniversary. And she said she went to sleep thinking about doing that the next day. <laughs> um, so, of course, this makes us very happy, uh, makes her very happy, and keeps our family running nice and smoothly. So, that, I mean, in terms of, uh, I didn't know anything about attachment parenting when we were doing it. It's something that I kind of learned about afterwards, but uh, we did read a lot uh, about Dr. Sears, who does talk a lot about attachment parenting and how you should be a good parent. Parent and an parent. So these are some books that you can check out. 